this is what n3 do4 and inside that n3 dm is there okay similarly here what will come archegonio 4 since they are having homosporous in nature so you cannot identify that okay so it is archegonio 4 now any type of structures they are containing okay any type of structures they are containing but these two n3do4 and archegonio4 this you have to see okay and this is the only differentiation that can be identified in male mercantia and female mercantia okay now sometime also it is written male thallus because thallus void is there and here female thallus but differentiation is only archegonio 4 and n3do 4 so if these two are there it means that belongs to liver words an example is there mercantia now come on next that is bryopsida or we can say mosses so another group is another group of bryophytes belongs to mosses okay now mosses belongs to the class belongs to the class that belongs to the class what bryopsida okay now most of the characters they are having so here what happens the predominant stage is a leafy stage okay what what i told the predominant stage is a leafy stage and another stage is there that is a protonema stage that is juvenile stage so in mosses two type of stages come in their life cycle one is what one is protonema stage that is juvenile stage and one is predominant leafy stage okay so first is pre uh, uh, that is first is protonema or juvenile stage and the second stage is leafy stage now here what happens the plant body that is a dominant one is a leafy gametophyte so what i told the plant body is dominant leafy stage which is haploid gametophyte phage okay what i told dominant leafy stage is what 
haploid gametophyte phase now if we are going into sexual reproduction so in sexual reproduction the sex organ anthridia and archegonia they are forming at the suit the tip of leaf suit what i told in sexual reproduction the male anthridia and a female archegonia formed on tip of leaf suit okay this you have to remember that where this uh, in the sexual reproduction anthridia and archegonia form so that is forming on tip of leaf suit means what we can say forming on gametophytic stage that sowing dominant leafy stage okay now here what happens each anthridium means male organ okay each anthridium produces what number of biflagellate anthrazoites each anthridium produces a number of biflagellate anthrazoites anthrazoites this you have to remember that which type of anthrazoite they are having so they are containing by flagellate and each archegonium produces what egg and that egg is fertile so each archegonium produces a fertile Egg. Now, since egg producing nature starts, that's why bryophytes are first tracheophytes. Okay, now here they are forming fertile egg and anthridium forming what? biflagellate anthrazoite that is similar to sperm okay now what happens this fusion of gametes needs water for formation of zygote so now fusion of these gametes needs water and they develop after fertilization into zygote but you have to remember that if water is not there so zygote formation is not possible so after fertilization they develop into zygote okay and this zygote this zygote develop into sporophyte which contain capsule, seta 
and foot okay so these part then comes on what sporophyte here what happens this zygote develops directly into what sporophyte okay now this capsule contain two spore sac this two number you have to remember so here capsule contains two spore sacs okay so two spore sacs are present in capsule here and that is especially used for what spore dis dispersal method so spore sacs used in spore dispersal okay now next we have to see what happens next what we seen spore sac is there then spores dispersed out okay now then it happens what this spores when liberate they germinate into creeping green branched known as protonema stage or juvenile stage so what i told the spores further formed into creeping green filamentous structure filamentous structure known as protonema stage which is juvenile stage or what we can say prior to reproductive stage okay they are having what prior to reproductive stage so here what form protonema stage or juvenile stage is forming okay now this protonema later develops into reproductive stage and form new bryophytes so protonema stays further grows to reproductive stage and forms new individual now if we are saying the common example of mosses so that is funaria polytrichum sphagnum so come on that for example funaria polytrichum sphagnum etc so these belongs to what mosses now here same questions are coming that in funaria two cycled stages are there one is gametophytic and one is sporophytic so what are the stages are there that we have to see but before we have to see sphagnum diagram on which questions are asking so what is coming
what we are seeing here so below is this is the branches that is archegonial branches this is having archegonial branches and this archegonial branches develops archegonia okay and upper side it is what and three dl branches and three dl branches that further develops what and three dia okay and if we are seeing this commonly so these are what branches okay so these are looking like what just like leafy like structures they are showing and this is showing sphagnum sporophyte it is what the sphagnum sorry sphagnum gametophyte because this is leafy structure so sphagnum gametophyte and this is the reproductive stage that contain both one archegonial branches this archegonial branches contains archegonia female and anthridial branches contain anthridia so in one plant contains both that is monoecious so sphagnum showing what monoecious plant okay in mosses now next we have to see funaria that showing both gametophyte as well as sporophyte what how they are showing that we have to see now next we have to see funaria now we what we have to see this funaria just for example starting for the plant like structure so what is that below it is what rhizoids and rhizoids means helps in attachment to substratum attachment to substratum that just like root okay above there this is main branch <clears throat> this is main branch they are having now above their leaf like structures are there So this is what leaf like structure or what we can say this is leaves so these are leaves now this entire portion rhizoids main branch and leaves this belongs to gametophyte we are seeing what diagram funaria okay now from leaf they develop sporophyte so from leaf they develop what sporophyte here 
this is known as capsule this portion known as seta and this is the portion having foot okay so capsule is there seta is there and foot is there but you have to see that these emerged from where so this emerging from leaves this is leaves and emerging from leaves so these part sporophyte sporo fight okay so sporophyte contains what are the groups sporophyte contains what are the branches are there one is a capsule one is a seta and one is foot okay now this capsule seta and fruit contains in the branches three branches inside the sporophyte this is sporophyte this sporophyte you can see that completely depends on what leaves or we can say gametophytic stage and that's why i told initially that bryophytes two stages one is a gametophyte and one is a sporophyte but the sporophyte acts as parasite okay acts as what parasite on gametophyte okay so this is the example for funaria that showing gametophyte and sporophyte both stage here you have to see that when pictures are coming okay and they showing rhizoids main branch leaves capsule seta foot that is sporophyte and gametophyte in that time in the examination you have to remember that this showing what funaria okay now also you have to remember that sporophyte contain what are the branches they are having or what are the parts they contain so capsule seta and foot they are having in the in the what in the bryophytes sporophytic stage okay now if we are coming on their economic importance so we have to see but before going into that economic importance of that we have to see that what are the stages are coming sometimes it is asking graphical representation of life cycle of mosses very very important so we have to see that graphical representation of graphical represent of life cycle of mosses very very important okay now till yet what we seen that leafy gametophyte is the adult stage or adult phase so what we can say right leafy gametophyte so it is adult stage because juvenile is what protonema so leafy gametophyte is adult stage it forming two one is anthridium and one is archegonium okay one male and one female this is a male and this is female so anthridium formed archegonium formed then what happens this anthridium forming anthrazoid this archegonium forming egg or oosphere 
okay so these two one anthrazoid and one egg is forming then what happens these two syngamy occur or what we can say fertilization okay so here what happens syngamy or fertilization occur then it enter into zygote formation what they are entering into zygote formation so this forming zygote now this zygote further develops into embryo so here this develop into what embryo this embryo further develop into sporophyte sporophyte okay embryo develops into what sporophyte then this sporophyte contains what capsule now this capsule contain what spore mother cell now this spore mother cell goes into meiosis or a reduction division so here what happens meiosis occur and this meiosis forming what spore this spore forming what proto nema stage that is juvenile stage juvenile stage okay so this is forming what protonema stage this protonema stage forming birds and these birds ultimately turn into leafy gametophyte or adult stage okay now up to this this is having what gametophyte stage gametophyte or haploid stage and this is what because here every thing is diploid so it is sporophyte stage or it is diploid in nature okay so this is what graphical representation of life cycle of mosses okay this is sexual reproduction takes place sexual reproduction now many time i have seen this graphical representation in the medical exam here they asked what this will removed and they will ask fill in the blank they also removed this one capsule and they will ask fill in the blanks they are also removed this one juvenile stage or protonema stage okay so these three points anthrazoid capsule and juvenile stage or protonema stage you have to remember while seeing the graphical representation of life cycle of mosses okay this vegetative stage that is a protonema stage okay that mature how into birds so this is what vegetative stage vegetative stage so sometime also asking vegetative stage of graphical representation of life cycle of mosses denoted as so that is denoted as what protonema stage or that is having juvenile stage so this is the graphical representation okay now this graphical representation also you have to remember for your examination okay three points is very important protonema okay one what we have seen capsule and one syngamy is there or fertilization is there okay now this uh, 
सेक्सुअल रिप्रोडक्शन दैट अकर्स इन साइड द ब्रायोफाइट्स और वी आर सीइंग दैट मॉसेस ओके सो हियर व्हाट हैपेंस वी हैव टू सी दैट दिस रिप्रोडक्शन टेक्स प्लेस इन टू स्टेजेस वन वाज प्रोटोनेमा स्टेज एंड वन वाज लीफी स्टेज दैट इज एडल्ट स्टेज ओके सो दीज टू यू हैव टू रिमेंबर आफ्टर दैट we have to come on what is the economic importance of this bryophytes why it is so much having benefited what are the benefits they are having so come on that last of bryophytes that is economic importance of bryo fights economic importance of bryophytes now before going into that what happens we have to know that mosses so some species of mosses or we can say similar uh, directly some mosses provide food okay they are edible in nature for what for birds herbaceous mammals and other animals so what i have to first is important some mosses treated as food for herbaceous mammals birds and other animals okay some mosses are used as what treated as what food okay if we are seeing especially sphagnum so sphagnum forming what peat peat is what that dead older parts of a sphagnum after thousand of years they forming layered structure and that is used as fuel and fodder so what some mosses especially some mosses especially sphagnum treated as peat not treated forming a forms a peat which is treated as fuel and also used as fodder okay so this uh, peat also treated as what fuel and also used as what fodder okay now this sphagnum also having the capacity to water hold okay means they are providing moist and that's why gardeners are using this one so some bryophytes like sphagnum treated as transporting the living material by gardeners since it provides moisture to seedlings or plants during transportation okay so in that case what happens these plants doesn't die okay so they are become living for some time during transportation okay now these bryophytes like mosses also 
helping in what they helping in forming the soil means they are helping in soil preservation what we can say some bryophytes like mosses some bryophytes also help in soil formation along with the lichens okay 